take a recap of that as i told that uh, bernoulli random variable happens to be what uh, that one is the backbone of defining various uh, discrete random variable and uh, you can say that uh, uh, it forms basis of the uh, discrete random variable so most of discrete random variable always you can ex express as a uh, some kind of compo composition of uh, Bernoulli random variable like binomial it would be what it would be just summation of n uh, Bernoulli random variable if you sum n Bernoulli random variable in together then you will get binomial likewise from the Bernoulli you can go to define uh, geometric random variable so all binomial geometric pascal those would be what those are uh, various uh, type of uh, discrete random variable we will discuss it here so coming to outline of today's lecture here i would like to discuss first bernoulli random variable as a recap uh, that we had already covered in last class after that i will talk about uh, binomial random variable and here binomial random variable we will define first binomial random variable and then i will talk about uh, few properties of binomial random variable and uh, uh, there is one counter uh, one more uh, term hmm, with respect to this binomial random variable you can define for multiple classification binomial oh, just uh, it is talking about uh, uh, two grouping kind of things so one grouping uh, containing k number of um, that means if you are having n number of person and if you want to uh, uh, divide those person in two part one is uh, grouping uh, of success and another then next next would be if you select first k, uh, you, you are selecting k number of uh, uh, outcome from n then what is happening next uh, n minus k it will pass in in the uh, another category that i had already defined the term of being ban binomial but if you go go for multi grouping kind of things then similar kind of concept is coming that we are calling it multinomial random variable that also you can define it and after that i will talk about geometric random variable and followed by pascal random variable various other uh, also i will talk about uh, poisson random variable as well so pascal poisson all those are again i i would like to say that uh, pascal is just generalization of uh, geometric random variable so all these are the basic so from here you can go to define a binomial and if you are having binomial you can go to define multinomial generalize it to multinomial if you are grouping talking uh, more than two grouping then you can go for multinomial and where the coefficient would be expre uh, explained by multinomial coefficient that we had already discussed during counting principle okay and uh, if you are having geometric then geometric random variable then you can generalize geometric random variable to pascal random variable geometric random variable is talking about uh, number of outcome till first success and if you generalize it to uh, to say that uh, you are talking about number of out um, trials sorry number of trials till uh, geometric random variable is talking about number of trial till first success and pascal is talking about number of trial till mth success so some number of uh, success uh, of uh, outcome would be given here that means how many uh, trial you have to perform in order to get uh, 10 success 20 success 30 success those kind of things would be given so those term you can say that would be that would be parameter of the pascal random variable so so and one more interesting binomial also for long run when suppose probability of success is very low and number of trial happens to be very low, very high number of trial that n is very high in that case you can talk about Poisson distribution so you can easily see link between all these discrete random variable all are linked and anyhow directly related with uh, Bernoulli random variable so that is the concept of uh, today's lecture and I'm going to discuss about first uh, Bernoulli random variable that which we are recalling Bernoulli random variable so in last class I had already mentioned that a simple current of Bernoulli random variable you can associate with a single toss of a coin so if you are performing a toss, toss then definitely outcome would be either head or tail and uh, uh, getting ahead that we will call it success and we will associate probability of success with p p is we, we are calling probability of success that means getting ahead so definitely one minus p would be probability of failure or success that means uh, in this single trial uh, trial of a 
a coin or single toss of a coin we can introduce a random variable like this way that one is counting number of heads simply also you can say that that one is counting number of heads so number of head possible number of head in single toss of a coin what are the those those are either you will get zero head or you will get one head zero so you can say that that zero is what zero actually zero is image of uh, tail and one is image of head so outcome tail is map to zero and outcome one head is mapped to one so this is the Bernoulli random variable and we had already seen that uh, this is the mathematical definition of Bernoulli random variable we had already discussed discussed uh, coming to PMF of Bernoulli random variable how we define we can define it that when x is taking value 0 then value of corresponding protein mass function for 0 we define it by 1 minus p that means that one is associated with uh, outcome tail so that's what, what is the probability of outcome it is already given here in this experiment it is 1 minus p similarly come to define uh, probability mass function for x equal to 1 and that one is associated with getting head so and hence what is the probability of head getting head that one is p so we can say that probability mass function for this binary random variable is taking uh, 1 minus p when x is 0 and p when x equal to 1 and for other other value you can say that it is 0 otherwise it is 0 if x is other than uh, 0 or 1 then protein mass value of protein mass function is uh, zero. So we will talk about uh, uh, plotting of this one. Before going to plotting, I I told that uh, how to unify this by this uh, formula that p to the power x into one minus p to the power one minus x. This one it is just associated with uh, the single toss of a coin. So that's where if you uh, do toss of uh, n toss, then n would come. That would be in the binary random variable that I will discuss. So geometrically, if you want to visualize the protein mass function for Bernoulli random variable, then we can visualize it like this way. So the probability of success p always we are calling it. It is the probability of uh, parameter of the corresponding Bernoulli random variable. So you can so generally notation we denote it in the bracket that Bernoulli with uh, next question would be what is the parameter? Then what is the probability of success that uh, you need to come up with uh, you from your side? Uh, generally if nothing is given you can proceed with 0.5 otherwise uh, so, uh, coin happens if suppose coin happens to be biased then either it will be 0 0.3 0 0.4 or something like that it will it would be not 0.5 so that would be definitely mentioned there in the question itself so if you try to see the protein mass function and then protein mass function plot you can see that uh, if you are taking x equal to 0 then value of uh, protein mass function is 1 minus p and if uh, x equal to 1 then value of protein mass function is p so literally we can say that which uh, what what is the scenario what would be value of p here whether it is greater than uh, 0.5 or less than 0.5 or what what is that after seeing anyone can comment over that what would be value of p after seeing this graph which one is true which one is true anyone just see the graph and try to input that what would be the value of p are you able to listen to me anyone see the plot of this protein mass function and tell me uh, from specifically for this plot uh, what are the possible value of p whether p is less than 0.5 or greater than 0.5 no answer so here in the plot you can see that 1 minus p is uh, greater than p and, and hence we can say that p definitely should be less than 0.5 very simple calculation you can do it here all these are very uh, simple kind of uh, calculation so you definitely 1 minus p is greater than p from the plot just observation it is all about observation so simplify it uh, minus p take it uh, left hand side then you will see that uh, two times p is what less than 1 and hence uh, take to right hand side then you will get uh, p is less than 1 by 2 so what is 1 by 2 that one is 0.5 see uh, be a very good observer if you really want to understand probability then be a very good observer and uh, just see the plot and from there uh, anything you, you can infer based on your observation uh, means that you have to be very good observer 
then you can infer that so that's where this this one this logic is right and it would be wrong see the graph so intensely if i had taken graph here p and 1 minus p behind then p would be greater than 0.5 that time so just observe things and try to answer from it now coming to define another discrete random variable that we are calling it binomial random variable so you can simply say that this sum of n number of uh, Bernoulli random variable or if you simply what you do take a coin and uh, you perform n toss or n trial of uh, uh, tossing a coin then in that perspective if you define number of heads then that quantif uh, quantification will introduce a random variable that would be a binomial random variable why the form or uh, form of probability mass function it will take a, a specific form in which you will see that uh, that binomial coefficient is coming as a coefficient of the uh, uh, probability for, uh, for as a coefficient for each value of the observed random variable so you will see it here like this way so consider a toss in uh, consider a coin and we are tossing that coin n times so at each toss that coin will be either comes up head with probability p or head tail with probability 1 minus p so simply probability p getting head that one is it is talking about success so p is the parameter so uh, probability of success always we treat as a parameter so binomial random variable you will denote it by b uh, and uh, one parameter we are already uh, having the probability of success another parameter how many time we are tossing n times n so n and p both are parameter of the binomial random variable now we are defining here a quantification like this way we are saying that x be the number of heads in the n toss sequence or in the n toss of this single coin okay so uh, x we will call it or we will refer it a binomial random variable and uh, with parameter two uh, parameter there are two parameter one is n n is talking about number of toss and p p is talking about probability of success in each trial okay in so p is associated with each trial probability of success in each trial okay so the probability mass function of this random variable x consists of binomial probabilities okay define as follows so that's where we are calling it binomial random variable so we are interested to probability mass function that means here simply you we know that this random variable is taking value uh, what so it is talking about number of heads and so number of heads might, might be zero or uh, might be one might be two might be three and it will go uh, we are performing n toss so it will go up to n so maximum value of x would be n a maximum value that x will observe that would be n now next thing is coming that we have to find uh, pro uh, probability mass value probability mass function for each value of x but remember that if you try to see this uh, this value of this random variable these are actually what these are uh, uh, integer kind of things or uh, starting from 0 onward okay so generally integer or uh, uh, whole whole number we can say that the generally whole number we denote it by n or k but n is already fixed for uh, number of tosses so that's why we will take notation k in place of x we will take notation k because these are integers so that that's why k notation is very much feasible k looks uh, more feasible notation for integers so we will find probability mass function for value of k that is already i told that it is defined by that probability probability of that x is taking value k or observing value k and if you try to calculate probability this probability this probability in order to calculate this probability we have to look back into pre images of k that means what are those outcome in the n toss of say, uh, a coin and that has been mapped to k so outcome would be those outcome would be uh, a, a n sequence and n tuple n tuple or n sequence in which uh, we observe p num k number of uh, heads and n minus k number of tails so we are having a sequence like this way so we will have uh, k number of heads it is talking about k success that means k number of heads and uh, rest would be what tail in this n tuple so n minus k number of tail so this kind of outcome these are this outcome we would be mapped to uh, this observed value of 
x random variable x so if you try to find probability of one individual outcome having k success and n minus k failure that means k uh, head and n minus k tail then that probability would be given by just from product rule it would be p to the power k into probability of failure is 1 minus p or probability of tail is 1 minus p so 1 minus p to the power n minus k so this is coming uh, probability of one outcome those has been that has been mapped to k now uh, how many such outcome we will observe just we have to consider all the possible combinations so that means n choose k it would be uh, n choose k out of n we have n choose k so that that one is coming as a coefficient so that's where uh, probability that x is taking value k it is given by n choose k into p to the power k into 1 minus p to the power n minus k so this is actually uh, what protein mass function of uh, binomial random variable and it is what it is taking the form of binomial so uh, that's why you can call it it is a binomial probability and hence uh, with the corresponding random variable we are calling it a binomial random variable here value of k uh, it will take from uh, 0 to n because it is talking about number of heads in n toss okay so that's why it will vary from 0 to 1 so this is the uh, binomial random variable now next we will talk about plotting of this one and also few more things we will discuss properties kind of things what is that that uh, how you can validate the normalizing property of binomial random variable so if you are having any random variable the next task would be that uh, see the positivity non-negativity of uh, each value of uh, protein mass function each value of protein mass function uh, protein mass function always must be non-negative next you have to see that uh, normalization condition that means if you take all possible value of the random variable and sum the corresponding um, protein mass function that must be add up to one so so we have to verify this result how we can verify so we can easily verify by using uh, binomial theorem so how does so summation here x is a binomial random variable which is taking value from 0 to n okay so you have to sum it up that means what is the, this binomial probability it is written in term of n choose k into p to the power k into 1 minus p, p uh, to the power n minus k and you are summing from uh, 0 to n k equal to 0 to 1 and if you try to see it is what it is talking about binomial theorem that means if you treat p as a and 1 minus p as b then you can say that it is talking about uh, a plus b to the power n so here p in the a is p so b and b is 1 minus p so you will write p plus 1 minus p and p or minus p will cancel out finally we will have 1 so 1 to the power n is what 1 and hence we can say that this uh, probability mass function of binomial random variable it is satisfying the normalizing condition there is no issue okay till now any question any question till now okay if there is no okay fine so i will go forward i will talk about some special cases of the binomial uh, probability mass function it can be seen here here so it is like this way so if you are taking 0.5 if you take 0.5 that probability of success is 0.5 that means your coin is what your coin is a fair coin so if you are taking a fair coin and if you are plotting the probability mass function for different value of k then you will observe this symmetric kind of graph so it looks symmetric very nice symmetric there is a up 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 up, up. it will go this uh, uh, optimal position that means peak and after that down in the same fashion that symmetric fashion up and uphill and downhill both are same so it is it looks symmetric about this middle middle one symmetric about middle one so we can say that uh, it is this symmetry is not always possible uh, it is possible when you are taking a uh, fair point so that means probability of success is 0.5 so then you are observing this one if you take a uh, coin which is bias and that means uh, one side is very heavier or suppose uh, all, uh, suppose that p is very small that means uh, rarely you are getting head uh, mostly you are getting tail that probability of tail is 
uh, always we are getting protea tail so p always talking about protea head so that means p uh, if you are always getting uh, tail what does means p would be very small very very small so you can say that 0 0.1 or simply even also take 0.1 is also very small 0.1 kind of things so for that scenario you will see that in this protein mass function plot of that the peak will be shifted towards left towards origin that means by zero uh, x k equal to zero is talking about occurrence of tail that means no head occurrence of tail that's where this peak will be uh, negatively uh, what we call it like uh, left uh, skewed so this kind of situation we are getting if you are taking a coin where you observe higher probability of getting head that means 0.6 or 0.7 kind of things then the plot of protein mass function would be right skewed so this situation you will observe so you can observe number of trial increase this situation you will observe okay here uh, along x axis horizontal axis k is taking value k is small so i would like to okay k is small so Okay. And uh, along uh, vertical axis, you are taking value of probability mass function that Px of k. So this is for you can see that uh, this situation you are getting it. So various uh, different different depends upon value of p, uh, you will get different different kind of uh, askewness. Now, uh, further we will talk about here not it is application here further I will talk about uh, what are the further plot of binary random variable and always you if say, someone is saying that plot the find the protein mass function of a binary random variable then your question would be what are the parameter that means uh, uh, what is n and what is uh, p so definitely it is your uh, uh, definitely you need to ask what is uh, n and what is p all these are parameters then you will be able to define uh, binary random variable so plot for the plot you can take it like this way if you are taking 0.3 probability of success is 0.3 this p then definitely and this plot would be shifted towards origin you can see that it is more shifted towards origin with this <laughs> in comparison of right word okay so this is a one example of uh, uh, binary random variable another you can see it here we have taken probability 0.6 probability of success is 0.6 so that's why the peak is shifted towards right peak, it is not on the center it is shifted towards right because value of p is greater than 0.5 so that means there is uh, uh, we are getting head mostly so uh, head is having larger ch chance of occurrence so that's why this situation we are getting it that means uh, our coin is fair towards uh, head uh, it is unbiased coin no, it is not unbiased coin it is a biased coin where mostly we are getting head that situation can be explained by this so i will talk about one more geometric random variable random discrete random variable that one is geometric random variable so it is related with uh, what number of trial it is talking about that uh, you perform a uh, experiment till uh, you get your first success so you have to keep on performing that uh, experiment till you will get your first success like uh, if you define success in the tossing a coin uh, success is head so you have to keep on tossing till you will get first head so that uh, if you try to uh, find the protein mass function of that then that will take geometric form and hence the corresponding random variable is a geometric random variable so here uh, suppose that we are repeatedly and independently tossing a coin which is a, which might be bias coin with probability p if uh, it is unbiased and probability would be 0.5 then where if you are taking a bias coin then probability may be anything between 0 and 1 okay 
so here in this experiment we define a uh, quantification like this way that x is talking about number of tosses until we are getting first hit okay so we can refer this uh, random variable as a geometric random variable with parameter p p would be probability of success that would be also parameter of p okay so now next we have to find the probability mass function for this random variable so how we can find we can observe like this way it is talking about uh, uh, so if uh, again if you talk about uh, what kind of value this random variable will take uh, again it will take positive integer because it is counting number of trial so number of trial always happens from what it is starting from one so it will so x will take value one two three four five likewise it will go on so suppose uh, x is taking value observing one value k what does it means so this means it is talking an event and uh, that one is what uh, saying that uh, at k trial we are getting success or we are getting head x equal to k that means we are saying that uh, we are we perform k total k and uh, total k trial in number okay so in first k minus one we observe tail so tail 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 so that will that's where because our experiment here it says that uh, we have defined a uh, random variable in such a way that it is counting uh, number of tosses till first success so tail 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 and we came to know that uh, we x is observing one value k it means at exactly kth place we have observed head and before just before up to k minus one place we have only observed tail exactly at k plus we observe head and we know that if uh, this is one outcome if you try to find the probability of this outcome that means uh, finding the probability of x equal to k is equivalent to finding the probability of this outcome so uh, so getting tail in the first uh, uh, trial it would, it would be definitely independent of getting tail in the second trial likewise the, all these so these all these each entry of this outcome uh, what is independent and independent of other simply we can say that so in order to calculate probability of x equal to k it is equivalent to find the probability of this one and that probability is what so uh, k minus 1 failure and probability of failure is what 1 minus p and how many times the failure we observe we observe k minus 1 and exactly at kth place kth trial we are getting success so what is the probability of success it is p so this will define our probability mass function so probability mass function for value of k we define it that probability that x is observing value k and that means k number of uh, at of trial we perform in order to get first success and the probability of first success exactly at the k trial we, we uh, calculate or compute it by this way okay uh, where uh, 1 minus p to the power k minus 1 into p and uh, here k can take any value from uh, starting from 1 to it may go up, up to it will keep on going uh, there is no upper bound so this is what this is protein mass function for geometric random variable and this random variable we are calling geometric y if you try to, try to see this uh, protein mass function actually it is geometric in nature it is just a geometric sequence so and hence we are calling it uh, a geometric random variable that means number of uh, tosses till first success that defines a geometric random variable due to the pattern of the corresponding probability mass function now since 1 minus p to the power k minus 1 it is probability of sequence consisting of k minus 1 successive tails followed by a head okay same thing and it is uh, we are describing now i will talk about uh, few properties of geometric random variable what does it say again if you try to see the geometric random variable is satisfying uh, all the property of being a discrete random variable uh, that means probability mass function of uh, geometric random variable is satisfying all the property of a uh, general probability mass function that means first you can see that positivity you might have already seen that we will talk about generally normalizing conditions so if you see that if some the all the probability mass function for the geometric random variable and that that sum will be uh, add up to one and it can be easily proved by using geometric series concept like that means we are uh, here we know that uh, the geometric random variable is taking value uh, 
starting from 1 to infinity so we are summing all the probability uh, for those values so so we have to substitute uh, value of this probability like this way and if you sum so what does it it is you can see that we are taking summation with respect to k and this p is independent of k we can take it out of the summation so you can take it out of the summation now you are doing summation of with this uh, uh, this term so here you can say that uh, what is the common uh, ratio easily you can say that it is 1 minus p and that means uh, you are talking about the geometry series like this way r to the power k minus 1 and summation is uh, it is what uh, here k is starting from 1 to infinity so if you sum then what would be sum this sum would be just 1 by r 1 by r you know from your high school sum this sum also you can establish establishing if establishment is not a difficult problem so here we have taken p out of that and here r is what 1 minus uh, sorry here to 1 minus 1 1 by 1 minus r summation would be 1 by 1 minus r okay here r is what 1 minus p so simplify uh, p we have taken it out p that's why p is here p into 1 by 1 minus r r is 1 minus p if you simplify this quantity will be what 1 minus uh, 1 by p so we in uh, we are here we are, we are already having p and in this simplify to 1 by p so enhance p and 1 by p p and p will cancel out finally we will have one so we can say that the probability mass function of a geometric random variable is also satisfying normalizing condition that means that uh, the, that probability mass function is a uh, very genuine kind of probability mass function so we can interpret the geometric random variable in term of uh, repeated independent trial until first success where each trial has probability of success p same thing I'm talking. So if you try to see the graph of the probability mass function, then you can look like this way. So in the first trial, if you are getting uh, success in the first trial, if that means along the horizontal axis, we are taking value of k. Along the vertical axis, we are taking value of the corresponding probability mass function. And that means value of pk, pxk. Okay. So this is the situation. So here, in, in, if you are taking k equal to uh, 1, 0 you can't take. If you take k equal to 1, that means in very first trial you are getting head. And in that case, what would be probability? Probability directly to p. So what p you are you started with? So here p, you are, that probability of success you have taken here, 0.3. Now in the second trial, uh, we are getting a little bit lower than the first trial. If you are getting success in the second trial, that means getting head in the second trial, then this uh, probability would be 0.2. And likewise, you can keep on going and keep on going. So this is the plot of probability mass function of geometric random variable. Now I will talk another random variable. That one is Pascal. So Pascal random variable, again, I would like to say that it is generalization of uh, what we are calling it uh, generalization of geometric random variable. In case of geometric random variable, what I discussed, I told that it is talking about uh, number of trial till first success. But in Pascal, we will talk about number of trial till uh, m success or n success. It depends upon what parameter you want it to be. So that is that would be here. And, uh, uh, Again, the random variable, Pascal random variable, you will define in the same fashion. So how we define it like this way. Suppose that I toss the coin until uh, observe m number of heads. So I'm tossing coin until uh, I, I'm observing m number of heads. And if you are observing m number of heads, then after that you will stop. So it is not like that uh, in the very first m trial, we will observe m number of heads. So we have to do various toss of coin in order to observe m number of head. So it is not always possible that exactly at, at n number of trial we will get m heads. So we need to define it here one random variable. So we are defining a random variable is that the total number of trial uh, or the total number of time courses we perform in order to get uh, m heads. Okay, in order to get m heads. So that is the random variable. So to define the probability of the event k, 
x equal to k that means the, this random variable is what what would be possible value of x anyone can suggest what would be possible value of x anyone are you able to listen me or not just try to answer it what would be possible value of x here you are defining it is talking about uh, number of uh, total number of heads uh, uh, till uh, what you got uh, mth heads so total number of head, head till you get mth head so what would be possible uh, value of x any idea in order to get m number of heads definitely at least you have to perform m number of trial so least value of x would be m then you have to keep on going next value would be m plus 1 m plus 2 m plus 3 likewise it will keep on going so in the geometric random variable that was a special case of pascal random variable with m equal to 1 so that's where geometric random variable was started with 1 1 2 3 4 5 like this way uh, but here the pascal random variable it will start from m m plus 1 m plus 2 m plus 3 and it will go like that way so we have to here uh, what again these are what uh, again integer value so better notation uh, in place of x a small x we will denote it by k a small k so suppose we are taking an event x equal to that x is observing one value k then it would be equivalent to find how we can find this probability that means it is talking about uh, in case trial we are observing m number of heads or m number of success so how we can find directly this uh, uh, probability of this event so in, it is to find the probability of this event we can break this event into this m success into two part suppose uh, uh, two part one part is m minus one and we are performing a k trial in order to get m success so uh, m minus 1 and 1 trial mth trial so definitely how we can see that so m minus 1 trial uh, what is meaning of that uh, x is observing k that means exactly at k trial we are obje observing m number of success so that means uh, uh, m minus 1 success we have already observed in how many trials k minus 1 trial K, k minus 1 trial okay just to get uh, uh, one more success in the k trial we have to next trial definitely it would be k uh, success, it will give success that we are performing in the k trial in k trial we are getting head that is the situation situation so that's why this event x equal to k you can say say that uh, to in order to find this probability so we have to find the probability of uh, joint probability of this that means m minus 1 success in the first k minus 1 trial and a head in the kth trial so this joint probability that's the product of these two probability okay so do product of these two probability and you will get your protein mass function of pascal random variable so just do simplify simplify it it is talking about uh, m minus n success in k minus one trial so it is just given by uh, binomial random variable and in k trial we are observing one more success in total we are having m number of success in k trial so this property is given by this uh, pascal distribution you can say that it is probability mass function for pascal random variable it is not it looks like binomial but it is not binomial and remember that it is not coming from binomial it is coming from generalization it is a generalization of geometric random variable and if you talk about the value of random variable then it will take m m plus one and it will go on like this way so if you uh, ask about uh, uh, that plot of protein mass function for pascal random variable then again you need to par parameter one is uh, how many success you want that m so m number of success you want okay and what is the parameter probability of success what is the probability of success in it try is trial so these two are forming parameter of the pascal random variable and the plot is like this way also you can say that if you take m equal to one it, is, it would be the geometric geometric random variable 
plot would be completely geometric random area. If you taking time equal to two, it will deviate from so further deviation like this way. So you see resemblance of this Pascal random variable with the geometric random variable. Very much it, it has been generalized from there. Now next random variable is coming Poisson random variable and this would be last random variable today I will discuss. So Poisson random variable is very much frequent when a, what is happening the occurrence of uh, one outcome is rare but uh, uh, and that uh, also we are counting occurrence of outcome in certain event event wise something happening in uh, uh, event uh, time interval wise like uh, uh, in a particular time interval you are counting number of uh, drop calls and in a particular interval you are counting number of buses passes through a particular uh, bus stop so those things if you try to model then you need to come up with the Poisson distribution so Poisson distribution uh, regarding that it is usually used in scenario where we are counting the occurrence of certain events in an interval of time or a space so uh, along with counting we will have interval as well so that's where the Poisson distribution is different from uh, binomial it looks binomial kind of things that binomial this random variable is also counting number of occurrence uh, but uh, there we are not talking about time interval in Poisson distribution we are talking about time interval so um, uh, apart from counting the number of occurrence we are also as, uh, having interval in we a specific uh, we need to count that in interval in a given interval so that is some kind of interval would be mentioned here so so, such example we can further see that number of customer uh, who visits a certain a store between interval 1 to 2 so here if you try to model this one you need to apply Poisson random variable here random variable is what it is a number of customer with number of customer with some parameter lambda lambda would be parameter and that would be decided by history of the outcome occurrence of outcome this, or simply you can say that it is a system parameter and uh, we will either it would be given or uh, we can calculate it so we are defining a random variable like this way a random variable x is said to be Poisson random variable with parameter uh, lambda that means uh, in the notation all these what to sentence uh, all this sentence I told this you can limit it to this representation is it is the short notation so a random variable x we will call it uh, Poisson random variable if it's uh, uh, this x is taking value so again it is the counting number of occurrence of event certain event or certain uh, some kind of ob objective so that's where uh, uh, that counting will uh, start from 0 1 2 there may be no bus in particular time in from the interval uh, there may be one bus two bus three bus if, if you are observing for number of buses in a particular interval uh, at uh, some bus stop then the counting just you are doing counting so you may have one bus you may have zero bus we have two bus like this way so these are the value of the random variable so x will take this value and how we can define probability mass function for this one so probability mass function of this one we can define in term of this exponential it is the power lambda lambda to the power k divided by factorial k where k is taking this value okay and don't worry about these terms actually you can easily what you do it, you take uh, uh, binomial random variable and take uh, uh, protein mass function of that so what was the binomial random variable it was like this way uh, okay. uh, <laughs> binomial coefficient is coming into p to the power k into 1 minus p to the power n minus k so what you do if you uh, take a limit n tends to infinity that means uh, you are performing very large trial that means n tends to infinity then p is approaching towards zero p is very small so in that case uh, this will turn into this expression so you can directly get so one in next class probably i will discuss about that uh, uh, approach how to get your exponential distribution from binomial distribution that when you are increasing number of trials and uh, that occurrence of event happens rare so that will lead to how it is leading towards about poison i will talk in next class 
so here i will talk about the protein mass function of uh, few poisson random variable and few uh, value of parameter lambda so if you are taking lambda equal to 1 then this is the uh, protein mass function if you take p equal to lambda equal to 5 then you will get this kind of protein mass function okay uh, any question you can ask otherwise uh, we are uh, we have already completed 45 minutes uh, we are going to wind up today's lecture